Good morning. Yeah, okay, so the health department, first of all, is going to be in charge of making these ID cards and getting them out to the public. Uh, now, this is really for those people who don't have a driver's license or a passport. It's really hard to do anything if you don't have a photo ID. So this city ID is really going to help. Again, it's called the fountain card. And take a look at this mock-up. Uh, Mayor Quinn Lucas posted this on Twitter. This is courtesy of the Kansas City Health Department, which, as I mentioned, will run this program. Mayor Lucas led the charge to get this fountain card program started. Yesterday, the city council voted to approve it. Now, the city plans to invest $250,000 in funding every year for this program. Keep in mind, this is a municipal ID card, not a state-issued ID card, so you will not be able to use it to vote. However, you will be able to use it for many other things, like trash pickup, water services, getting a library card, opening up a bank account, prescription drug discounts, and getting into community centers and pools. It'll also help parents when they enroll their children in school. It's meant for the homeless, ex-convicts, and senior citizens who don't have access to their birth certificate and don't have a photo ID. But it will also be available to illegal immigrants who need ID to connect with city services. An effort to create Municipal ID cards in Kansas City, Kansas, failed due to a provision that city officials did not want federal officials, did, were not able to help federal officials find illegal immigrants. State lawmakers in Kansas ruled that that program was illegal. Kansas City's Fountain ID program does not have this same provision, so we'll have to wait and see if Missouri lawmakers try to do anything about it or not. But getting one of these cards will be really easy. City officials say proof of ID could be anything from a utility bill to a credit card bill, a payroll stub, a work or a school ID. Even a picture in your yearbook will be proof enough to get a fountain card. So you can take your yearbook, say this is me, and they will go ahead and get you that fountain card. The city manager is going to spend the next three months working with the health department to get this program started. So these fountain ID cards are not going to be available anytime soon, but once they are, We'll let you know. We'll let you know where you can go get them, but chances are it will be at the health department since they're the ones in charge of this program.